Okay, so we back. So, got all the parts. As you can see, right there. I took the Liberty. That's the, that's what the other manifold looked like. Or, sorry, manifold. Valve cover looked like. And this is what it looks like now. Kind of cleaned it up just a bit. You know, just nothing major. And so, I got the parts. And now, I'm going to try and clean things up so maybe i'll put you guys on a time lapse while i change a lot of these gaskets and things like that and we will get to it here we go it's not a game it's a red stick. Taking this one off, it is the same as the other one, just slightly tighter because I gotta reach all the way back here just to get it out. Okay. And wiggle, 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 wiggle. That ain't working. <laughs> Fly up and it should come out. That right there, and then I should be able to. I had to move the injector, not the injectors, but the harness for the injectors, and I should be able to get these off. Yeah. I would lose a 10. You know, I lost my 8. It's somewhere around here. It's somewhere around here. I know where it is. Aha! Found it. It was on my gun. So I just need to crack these loose. Not sure if I have to move this bracket. I should be able to get it off with the bracket on. Uh, yeah. I should be able to get it off with the bracket on. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I should have been done with this vehicle but parts came extremely late um my client dropped the car off at 8 30. we talked for about 20 minutes she wanted to see the video the infamous donut media video and she actually likes the car she's been over here before to see the car and she actually liked it so i showed her the video and uh, she enjoyed it, of course. She said the same thing a lot of you guys were saying in the comments. Um, and she told me she was, she said I should keep the car. So um, I am gonna keep the car. I know I should not be talking about that car in this video, but 
Uh, yeah, a lot of people want to see the car, even more so after they see the video, because they, they want to make sure that it was real. I don't know why I keep hearing that lately. But it's behind me with the hood popped open because I was doing some some more maintenance work on it. So that'll be a video for another day coming soon. Like, comment, and subscribe so you can see that video too when it drops. In the meantime, let's try and get this bad boy done. But yeah, like I was saying, I, I should have been done with this vehicle. Um, uh, a few hours ago, but it took O'Reilly's to deliver the parts. I ordered the parts earlier this morning, around 7 a.m. And the parts did not get here till about one o'clock, Pacific Standard Time, by the way, because I realized that some of you guys are not in the U.S. and some of you are on the East Coast, so it took about so when I say one o'clock, I mean Pacific Standard Time. So you guys don't get confused. So I apologize for any confusion, if I have caused any. But yeah, it took about, took them till one o'clock Pacific Standard Time, just to bring the parts. There's one here, I can't see the other ones. I believe there should be one. Uh, one. Hold on. I can't see. Uh, nope. 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 Hmm. I guess I'm... There's one here. There should be more. At least. There should be more. So, maybe I should pull out my mirror and figure out where the other ones are. I can't see. No, no, no. There's one here. No, there's one back here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There should be one somewhere off in this corner. Yep. Right there. I know it's taking me forever, guys. I'm so sorry. Kind of want you guys to see the ups and downs of an automotive technician. It's not always pretty. You don't always get the win as much as you want to. And sometimes you have to try different things to get certain hardware out. And also having the right tools. That is one of my mottos, right tools for the right job. Because having the right tools make your job easier. Sometimes. Sometimes you just gotta do what you can. But right tools for the right job. It does help. Okay. So I got that one. So that's six. Three here, three back here that I got. I got one, two, another three right here. And I can't seem to find the other ones. Well, can't see them, I should say. But I know they're there. I know they are there. Aha, uh -huh. found them. So you have this mechanism that holds the cover on. And that's two right there. So, and I already got the other one loose. That's why I couldn't find him. 
these are in the way. See? Sometimes you just gotta keep going until you get it. I don't like to give up. I do not like being defeated. So I will always continue to fight until I win. Got that one, got this one. I already got the other valve cover cleaned and somewhat prepped. I ran into a slight snag. It's kind of my fault. Um, I didn't get a chance to see uh, how the, the gaskets for the, what do you call this? The spark plug where the spark plugs sit. Um, I took them out and forgot how the new ones went in. So I decided to take this off since I have to take it off anyway to see it as a reference. So that being said, I should be good to go to pull this off. This one back here, this one, and this one. So. Again, I gotta pry. Some kind of way I gotta pry up uh, without messing up the mating surface. Pry up on this. Nope, don't like doing that because that's not really all that strong. There we go. There we go. On the spot where I can get under here without breaking anything. Should be good. Some kind of way. I need to get back here to pry, and I can't really see. I won't be defeated. It will not be defeated. Yeah, I'm making the video. I heard that. And you're in it. And thousands of people hear you. Y'all hear him, right? Yep. If you guys want to know who that is, that is my girlfriend's son. He is six years old. Shh. I'm talking about you. Shush. He is six years old. Very bright. Very smart. But he's he's into very he's he's at the age where he's discovering, you know, a lot of things. You know, asking a lot of questions and you know. Like, like we were when we were kids. Just want to know what everything is. But yeah, he's a very bright, bright young man. I should say. I feel like something is keeping me from, I don't think it's this. It, it wants to come up, but then I'm stuck. Not this one here. I'm not sure if this piping back here. No, I don't think this is. Or maybe it is. Let me make sure. No. It's just stuck. So, how do I 
figure this out without breaking anything or damaging anything. Can't get that in there because this is in the way. And I'm get back here. Nope. Oh, the struggles of working on cars. The struggles. Oh, the struggles. Let's see. One. Just double checking to make sure these are all loose. Yep. 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 Okay. <sighs> Let me try to figure this out. I don't want to keep you guys waiting and figuring out what's going on. So I'm going to see what I'm missing. Grab my mirror, see what's back there, and I'll get back to you guys because I'm struggling. Okay. So I figured out why the valve cover wouldn't come off. This little piece right here was sticking on the side of this and there's like a tube that goes right in through there and it was keeping this from coming up. So I had to take this off, but now I have to take this bracket. Let me show you guys. So you guys can see what I'm talking about. This bracket here has to come off because this has to slide that way because there's a, there's a tube see if you guys can see it right in here that will not allow the valve cover to come up so I pull that off and yeah the struggle so I'll put you guys on the time left so you don't have to see the daunting frustrating portion of me doing this so I'll put you guys on the time lapse real quick and then we'll we'll get back to it. It's not a game, it's a red stick. Okay, so that was tough. I got the other side off and here is the cleaned up one. The new O-rings and stuff like that. So cleaned it up pretty good. It came out decent. A little oil here and there from my hands because my hands are oily and I don't have on gloves. But that's neither here nor there. It's in and we're gonna torque it down I uh, need to grab my laptop because I didn't print out the torque specifications for the valve covers or the tightening sequence so I'm gonna do that I uh, just want to update you guys here's this one as you can see it's all cleaned up and nice and not all as oily or dirty and I'm going to tighten this one down and then I'll clean up the other one which is right here. This one's all dirty. And I need to clean it up, make it look really nice, and then put everything on. This was that part I was telling you about, that hole right there. So there's a pipe. Let me see if I can show you guys. There's this pipe right here, this mechanism, um, that was keeping me from getting it off. So I had to move the bracket that was bolted to this in order to slide it off. It was a struggle. I'm not gonna lie, it was a struggle. I struggled, but I got it. So let me get to everything else I need to do and I'll holler back. All right, so I got the valve cover on. It's not torqued down yet. I just got it in place and I got the bolts down enough so that it's ready for, to be torqued. So what I'm about to do is take this one in the back 
clean it up a little bit before I put it on. I got to remove these right here because I have the O-rings for it. And then uh, the gasket right here and then these. So I'm going to go clean this up and I'll be back. Okay, so I got the torque specs and the sequence. It is 106 inch pounds, almost at foot pounds. That would have just been horrible. So 106 inch pounds. And I'm using my Icon little torque wrench. So this is one, two is right here. I believe this is three. Yep, four is right here. And then five will be this one. This is one that's a little tricky to get. There we go. That's five. Give it. Give it back. And then six is going to be this one. And then seven, I want to say, mm -hmm, is this one. Yeah. Seven. This is eight. Ooh. Yeah. Eight. And then nine will be right next to it. Ten will be this one. Eleven. This one back here. And final 12 will be out, will be this one. And that is your sequence. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, 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 sorry. 10 will be this one, and then 11 and 12. So, I'm gonna put the other valve cover back on, and I'll just put you guys on the time lapse because it's a valve cover and you've seen this a million times. But for those who haven't, I will show you in the time lapse. <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. So, both valve covers are torqued down. I am gonna finish putting everything back together. Uh, it's pretty much done. Everything is all nice and clean and shiny. Just gotta start putting the brackets back on. And it should be done. And it's started up and see how it sounds. Make sure I didn't miss anything couple sensors I got to put back on but other than that it's done well it's not done but we getting there we getting there I got the valve covers on and they're torqued down the torque specs for the Dodge journey for the 2017 was uh, 106 inch pounds 
so and then the sequence which is almost like a cross pattern but yeah so we're good to go i am going to finish putting everything about on and then i'm going to start it up and make sure that there's no leaks let's get to it <sighs> okay so now i'm back but only for a short limited time because i'm running out of battery and card space so i'm going to finish this up it's not ideal i wanted to complete the whole entire job with you guys but i'll finish it in the meantime if you guys like what you see so far go ahead like comment subscribe turn on post notifications so that you don't miss another video uh, i'm going to continue to finish this up and i will catch you guys in the next one boom